What's up guys, I'm Brian Sakawa, you're watching He Spoke Style, and today we are talking about the latest release from GG Lecourt, the Polaris Date Limited Edition. So this watch is a new addition to the Polaris line. JLC reintroduced the Polaris back in 2018 at SIHH, and it was a phenomenal reboot that has been extremely well received. It filled a big void in JLC's lineup in terms of sports watches, and the watch we have here is a tribute to that success. If you're familiar with the Polaris that was reintroduced in 2018, this watch is going to look very similar, though this one is inspired by the 1970 Polaris II. We have a 42 millimeter case in stainless steel. There are two crowns here. The one at two o'clock will rotate the bezel and the crown at four o'clock is for setting the time and date. Inside we have the self-winding JLC caliber 899A1, power reserve of 38 hours and a rubber strap in a deep navy blue. Save the best for last here, which of course is the dial. First, the basics. We have the hour and minute hands plus the sweep seconds hand. At three o'clock, not something everyone will enjoy, but there is a date window. Arabic numerals at six, nine, and 12. Trapezoidal hour markers, all with loom, including the hour and minute hands. And then the amazing finish of the dial. It's all hand lacquered with the signature three finishes, sunrayed, grained, and opaline. And then we have this blue double gradient, which is unique to this model and one of the most striking features. You know, when you turn the watch, there's a shimmer and color change, which is just amazing. The case back is closed and contains four special engravings, including the scuba diving insignia, the JLC crest, the phrase 1000 hours control, which means it's gone through 1000 hours of testing before leaving the manufacturer, and then finally the words limited edition one of 800. This is a special watch and on the wrist it feels the same way. From a styling perspective, I have to say that I did find this watch to be a little tricky. It kind of sits in this balance point between casual and elegant. On the one hand, you have the amazing finish and the beautiful dial, both hallmarks of the brand. And then on the other hand, you have the more sporty blue color and the blue rubber strap. You know, thinking about styling this, I really consider this as a luxe casual item. And that is what I attempted to capture with each of the three outfits that I put together for this watch. First up is kind of a nod to the watch's somewhat nautical history. Simple, a little preppy with some luxe elements. Pants are off-white chinos by a ring jacket. Up top, I'm wearing a nautical striped long sleeve t-shirt. This is from the Nordstrom 1901 collection. And what takes this look from a very simple look to something that has a little more luxe feel is not only the watch, but also this suede jacket by Valstar. I think this particular piece is such a perfect match for the Polaris. It's sporty and casual, but has a very elevated feel. And one thing I really like about this look is how the color of the loom is almost a perfect match to the color of the pants. It's a simple thing and, and very subtle, but I think it helps pull the entire look together. Now, a nautical look like this would not be complete without boat shoes. The ones I am wearing are by Jack Irwin. Now for one of the looks, I wanted to challenge myself to do something suited. And I knew with this watch that I couldn't do suited the way I normally would. So as you will see momentarily, I came up with something that captures that casual but elevated style that this watch has. So here it is. This is a double breasted suit that I am deliberately wearing unbuttoned. Suit is by Ring Jacket. Simple micro striped shirt is by Michael Andrews Bespoke. No tie one more button unbuttoned than I normally would. And all of this, the lack of tie, the unbuttoned shirt, the unbuttoned double-breasted jacket, is to capture that casual, sporty, but elegantly nonchalant feel of this watch. Two final details to keep it more on the dressed up side of things, black leather belt and black leather wingtips. These are the McAllister by Allen Edmonds. Finally, the most casual outfit of the bunch, but still keeping it a little more upscale. On the casual side are my faded jeans by J. Crew, 484 fit. Up top is a gray cashmere cable knit sweater by Luca Falloni. If you haven't seen my try on and review of Luca Falloni, check that out. And then a great kind of fall transition piece, the informale and craftsman clothing linen safari jacket. Now the Polaris is for the adventurer and I love how the safari jacket gives a little nod to that. And finally finished off with some off-white sneakers by Suit Supply. 
As I mentioned, the Polaris Date is a limited edition of 800 pieces. It will retail for $8,250. I'll put a link to the JLC website and all of the outfit details down below in the description. Leave your comments and let me know what you think about this new piece in the Polaris line, as well as which outfit you liked best. Thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and until next time, thanks for watching and stay tailored.